Yeah, 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 you all bro, you already know it's the galactic one. Hell of the hell. We back practice spell. Shout out to all the galactic guardians, 720 degrees. Shout out to everybody living in that universal right order. Shout out to the House of Consciousness, House of Consciousness, Connecticut chapter. This message being brought to you in part by Core TV, Kingdom of Righteousness TV. The show is called Wake Up Sheeple. Y'all already know how I do before we jump into this demonstration. You know, you're 45. Smoke this pledge. I shade all the great prophets, ancestors, haters, messiahs, messages who came before, making the platform available so we can be here today, giving you the message. I shade. Jumping right into the demonstration on this glorious galactic day of Black Money Mondays. We're going to deal with the interpersonal. We're going to talk about who's real. And we're going to talk about the heavens of hell. The heavens of hell. What am I saying when I say the heavens of hell? When we're talking about living in worlds in between worlds. We're talking about living in worlds in between worlds. You know, heaven and hell is a state of mind. Right? And so, once we figure out what's real and who's real, then you can understand the, the, the levels of the heavens of hell. Because that's what we're existing in. We're existing in a level of a heavenly hellish place. This is hell, but it's a, this is the, the best of hell you're going to get. That's why this is heaven for hell. Because this is the best level of hellish shit that you're going to go through. You feel me? On this level, in this 3D realm of illusion, right? And so, a lot of times, um, we don't understand because we've been programmed through systematic stuff. Cis stems. Systems. Cis stems. Cis stems. You know what I'm saying? That's what they got us trapped in. We know what a cis is, and we know what stems are. Right? So that's kind of what we're dealing with. We're diseased. You know what I'm saying? We're at a discomfort. We're, we're, there's no harmony with us. Um, and it's a stem. The same way you do music, right? And they say, uh, record my stems, get all my stems, and let me get my stems and all of that. Which means that you, you, you separate the tracks, the wave files. So if you got the beat on one file, the beat is on one file. If you break the beat down with the snares, it's on one file. If you break the beat down with the, the kick or the 808, that's on another file. You break it down with the hi-hats, that's on another file. So those are all waves, different files, and the stem is saying you're separating each one, right? So systems, we're being separated. We're being separated. Um, from our own self, we're attaching from self, because a lot of this is self-programming. I know we like to say we under programs, people put us under spells, blah, 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 but today we're actually under our own spells and our own programming. Psychologically, you have programmed yourself to say you real about some shit when the shit that you claim is real is actually some fake fuck shit, per se, per se. You got people, right, right now, that build on a spiritual conscious level, right? They build on a spiritual conscious level. But when it comes to moon energy, the money, consciousness kind of gets, uh, or your spirituality can be bent or shaped to how you want to make it fit just for the moon energy though. A lot of conscious brothers that's getting money today well off, doing their things, much power to them, get your bread, but don't make the money seem like, if you ain't getting no money, then you not spiritual. You ain't getting no money, then you not, because that's not real. That's just not real, bro. It's just not real. Now, everybody does deserve finances and be able to take care of themselves on the planet and all that, we all do. But we know that's not the, you know, it's a system behind money, paper dollars, money, moon energy. And you think you better than the next man, or you think you're doing better spiritually than the next man because you got some money. That's not true, bro. You're actually doing worse because the moon got you. You no longer a children of the sun. You no longer a child of the sun once you put the money at your forefront. You can't claim to be a child of the sun and you fucking love money. Just don't work like that, bro. You on the wrong, you on the wrong frequency. 
Because you gotta think, our ancestors didn't have no fucking money, bro. And they were children of the sun. They was rocking gold and all this shit and you know, sitting on gold thrones and having golden stools and rocking arms full of golden bracelets and stuff like that. The, 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 the minerals was in the earth. Noob, the gold, the Nubians, the Nubans. We was already rich with the minerals and the resources from the earth, so there was no such thing as no motherfucking money, bro. And we was already vibrating high spiritually, doing all the right things on this plane to make it more heavenly. Being that this is a sinful status that we, we, we done fell to, you know? And so, when you keep it a buck and you keep it real, you start to understand that there are cycles. We go through cycle ages here. We're not dealing with time, we go through cycle ages. So there's, this, there's, this, there's the sun and you have the moon, cycles. And at this particular point in time, we have just, you know, entered back into this, what we call the sun cycle. So if you're a child of the sun, uh, naturally, things are in your favor, as long as you're in accordance to living as a child of the sun. Things are gonna be in your favor. Children of the moon, they had a 6,000 year reign. This is why you see so many uh, Europeans and what we call Europeans or, or Caucasoids or Mukasus or Wanzungus or whatever you want to call them. Those people had a chance to rule and run and do what they had to do for 6,000 years. But that reign is up. This is why you see them fighting so hard in politics and doing all this stuff that they're doing now because they're on their last fucking limb. That's why they're trying to get rid of money. This is why they're taking the money away. Because the moon cycle is over. The moon cycle is over, so they're taking the money away. And brothers that's attaching themselves to the dollar and making it look like they're more smarter or making it look like they have been more successful because they got some moon energy. Well, let me explain something to you about the moon. The moon is a lunar aspect or object that belongs to a deity named Lunar or Nanar Sen. Where Nanar Sen and Lunar and these beings reside on the moon, right? Per se. So, every time a person dies, most people say they see a white light. They see a big, bright, white light. They didn't say sunlight, yellow. They didn't say it was golden light that they seen and all. They say they see the white light. Ask people who had near-death experiences what color was the light that they seen as they was going towards that white light. It's a white light. Moonlight. Moon essence. When you die, your soul or your inner chi is being recycled by lunar energy. Ones who haven't reached certain levels of spiritual consciousness and raised their frequency up to a certain level down here on this plane. Remember, this is hell. This is the heaven of hell, nigga. You're not in motherfucking La La Land and this shit is peace. This is the heavens of hell. And so a lot of us that came here, fell here, or are here, have to ascend out of here. We didn't come here to be stuck here. Obviously, a lot of us are stuck because we trapped by moon energy. Your soul goes to that white light just to be recycled and spit the fuck right back down. You can't get past that shit because you a lunatic because you're dealing with lunar energy. You crazy as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Because you think what's real, you know what I'm saying, for you or what's good for you uh, it's actually actually bad for you. Actually bad for you. So we get people today who say they real, right? You really real about this thing. You really real about this uh, 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 God thing. You really real about your spirituality. You know, uh, a lot of y'all are spiritually homeless, man. A lot of y'all are spiritually fucking homeless. Let's keep it a buck, man. Y'all, you make excuses, but you're really spiritually homeless. You know what I'm saying? And so, being that you're a child of the sun, you know what I'm saying? What we call children of the sun, karadu. Children, karadu, of shil, 
the pa son rea kradushil pa rea children of the sun that's what we are naturally divinely genetically my makeup everything i don't gotta go to the doctors and do no extra shit bitch i was already born as a child of the sun i got the stamp right here the nine ether is my stamp this is my official bing, birth certificate of child of the sun right here my nine ether which y'all call kinky but it's really kingly here because this is a fucking crown to show us a stamp that I'm on I'm on a nine ether frequency out here as a child of the sun you know and so being that we children of the sun we're supposed to be gravitating naturally and doing things naturally um, and not normalized but sometimes we done psychologically programmed ourselves. Like after they gave us the ABCs and the one, two, threes, now you got a little bit older, you can still use your own mind, but you starting to program yourself to shape and shift and bend shit to fit your fucking mental paradigm of your existence here. And you want to choose what you deem to be right. But there's only one universal right way, and that's to be a child of the sun. You can't be a child of the sun and the fucking moon. It just doesn't work like that. You feel what I'm saying? I know we all want to talk about this balance shit and all that, and we know that we got to align with everything and all that's cool. But the fact of the fucking matter is, you either a child of the sun or you either a child of the fucking moon, man. Stop trying to fucking play games and trick the people and lie to the people. And a lot of times, the results show. The results show how people, the things they do for the money. The decisions that they make for money. How many of y'all are willing to give up your house and all that shit right now? Because if you're really real, the controllers of this shit is still, they still got you. The controllers of this shit still got you. So it ain't no way unless you walk off the grid and find some territory and set up shop and do all that shit and start pulling nuts and berries off the ground and eating your own food. You're know, you, you basically in the system as a cis in a stem. You're a stem and, 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 and you're nothing but a stem. A wave file to these niggas. That they can upload, tweak, you feel me? They can do all this shit to you because you're a cis now, you're diseased. You're uncomfortable, you're not in harmony. You see what I'm saying? And so, overstand. Overstand. Who is really real? Who is really gonna stand on certain principles and certain morals without bending and making excuses for the system that you live in? Because if you're in the system, then automatically they got you. You cannot straddle both sides of the shit. So let's keep it a buck and say we're all, let's admit to be like, yeah, we all in this shit. Like, you can't be like, oh, these niggas over there and I'm over here with my consciousness and my shit cause these niggas is like this and man, cut that bullshit out. You feel me? That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Keep it a hundred. You know what I'm saying? Keep it a hundred. And you can't make people, you know, um, force nothing upon nobody. Everybody got their own spiritual walks, ETC. And as, and as a, uh, a scientist, cause we all scientists out here, everybody's a fucking scientist. So there really is no right or wrong, it's just motherfucking what's beneficial to you or what's ignorant. And experience be the best teacher. You know what I'm saying? So as we experience these days, we start to say, I did that so many times, that look, I ain't gonna do that shit no more because the result shows that this is gonna happen. So why the fuck we gonna keep repeating that shit? So it's the same thing with life and energy because life is a process of birth and death, right? And we all must go through that same process, right? And so what we have, uh, come to forget, right? What we have become to forget is who we are truly and where we're at truly. Who we are truly because the person you project yourself to be today, that's not the real you. The person who you project yourself to be today, walking around, living your life, that's not the fucking real you. It's not. It's a fucking program. We computers, you know what I'm saying? And we being uploaded, rather y'all wanna knock it or not, we being uploaded with data, data, sperm. 
You feel me? That's the information, the data. You see what I'm saying? The mitochondria DNA is that whole motherboard. You see what I'm saying? That's why you come from your mother's hips. If you take the S off of hips and put it in front of hips, you get mothership. You come from the mothership, the matrix. This is the womb, the matrix, right? Sacred life force. And so, like I said earlier, a lot of us are spiritually homeless. So we jump from this shit to that shit to this shit to that shit to this shit to that shit and really don't have a spiritual identity. Because you don't want to be, what, boxed in? You don't want to stand on a certain principle? That, well, the only principle is, is simply, we're in the realm of dual natures, niggas. Up, down, left, right, hot, cold, sun and moon. Which one are you? Which one are you? Which side do you stand on? If you want to keep it real. If you want to keep it real. Because a lot of us are not going to give up our homes. A lot of us are not going to stop working for corporate America. A lot of us are not going to stop fucking with the dollar. Because if you really want to make this shit change, everybody just stop fucking with money. Straight up. People can't even fathom the fucking idea of saying, yo, we ain't fucking with that people. That's a spell on that money. And they got a white dude on it. That's a medium uh, of exchange. He's a dead person. So he's we were dealing with dead energy, dead souls here. Ha, 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 ha. And it's moon energy. So I just told y'all them shits get rebirthed, going to the moon and coming back. So all we doing is keeping these niggas shit alive, fucking with money. But yet, you shit on another nigga. You shit on a good man. The shit on a good brother, good sister, because of this medium of exchange, because of this fake legal tender debt note, because of moon energy underneath it. It's all moon energy, bro. We make fucking excuses. We making excuses. It's moon energy. And we're back in the sun cycle, so that's how you know we're under attack. Because a lot of us that were on uh, the frequency when the house of consciousness was booming and all that shit came out a couple years back, 10 years prior to this, like a decade or, you know what I'm saying, it was a real wave of consciousness floating around because we were back in the sun cycle. But you see, you look now, you look at the conscious community, different things like that, it's all about money. Money, 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 money. Money broke it up. Some people sided with this one because of money. Some people stopped fucking with niggas and niggas wasn't paying right. Money. Some people fuck what you say. Money is the root. Money and it's moon energy. So we gotta be real about it. We have to be real. You know what I'm saying? And identify yourself and find your spirituality so you can stop being spiritually homeless, jumping around because really you're just a child of the sun. It wasn't sun worship. The Egyptians didn't sun worship. We recognize that object as a life-giving, intimate, uh, em emanating object. Gave us life every day. Water was too, though. The ground was too, though. You feel me? Dirt was too, though. You understand what I'm saying? All these are different uh, 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 connections to our existence that we respect as a part of the all. You feel me? Because without, you can't add or take away from the shit. You take the water away, we a rap. You take the sun away, we a rap. So everything here needs to be here. Even with the moon. To make balance. To make balance. But you have to know your true inner self, your true inner being. Who is real? Who is real? When I say real, we're talking about just being real to the fact of acknowledgement, knowing that the system is set up, the systems is set up and designed to keep your ass worshiping the motherfucking moon. Because the people that were prior that got in, in play, all this shit was set up on moon worship. Everything prior to this was all set up on moon. So anything we doing today, we think it's some moon shit. That's why the whole shit is fucked up the way it is, man. The programming is fucked up the way it is because it's of the moons. And it's just not a sun. This is not a sun idea. This is not, you know what I'm saying? Rea, rea. This is not that. 
because the world will be in a, in a whole complete different aspect. So let's say we live out here in the United States, right? And if this shit was so great and it was so cool, why do we have so many homeless motherfuckers? Why the kingdom I'm a part of is the way it is? Why little black niggas just kill little black niggas? This is a crazy ass fucking kingdom we in. Right? Right? Why does the music we even listen to sound the way it sounds? And it's the kingdom we a part of, though. Just like, we all out here. This is all of our kingdom. Right? So why am I subjected to things that's going on in this kingdom? Because somebody that's running it has a certain objective. Has a certain objective. And that's to keep you trapped by moon energy. So while I'm building on this on Black Money Mondays, because I'm going to let you know that you are the value. You are the true currency and wealth. For one. Right? And the moon always deals with interpersonal, so that's why, you know, when you ain't got no money, you feel kind of funny. You ain't got no money in your pocket, you broke, you be like, damn, you ain't got that charge, that spark, that's why they charge you, make you pay, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that, so, moon energy, overall, know that it's balanced. Yeah, we need the dollar to sustain in their system, in their system, the system was created, that's not natural laws of nature. It's not natural laws of nature. These are normalizations. These are corporate war policies. This is education. This is religion. This is what the fuck we dealing with. That's not, nothing about that shit is natural, bro. So who's really real? Who's really real? Until we can admit that all this shit is fuckery, then we on bullshit. Fuck what niggas say You on bullshit You try to make excuses you Try to make excuses But it's all an excuse Cause you know what To even exist here We gotta sin How about that Even to be a lie So stop fronting Like you a goody two shoes Or stop making it look like You iller than this Or the iller than that Cause we all out here Doing the same shit Bro sinning There shouldn't be No homeless nigga I'm responsible For the homeless too I'm responsible For the crack addicts Cause I'm, this is the kingdom We in so if I'm just walking by motherfuckers and I don't give a fuck about the kingdom, then the fuck does that make me? But that's not, we ain't real. Because they done got us individualized. Inside divided by dual natures and as an individual, and you can't come together and look at uh, another aspect of life as the all. You don't see it as all. You see it as that nigga. You see it as them bitches. You see it as them young dumb dudes over there. You don't see it as you. Because when you keep it real, you're going to see everything as the all, man. White, black, Chinese, up, down, fat, skinny, whatever. It's all the all. You just got to learn how to shape, bend, and manipulate things to your advantage while you're down here. That's just it. You know? So y'all traveling in harmony. Have another galactic, glorious Black Money Monday. It's been another glorious build with y'all. Peace.